I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. I have some perfumes to rate. I have a perfumer to rate them. Let's go. Welcome back once more to yes. Aaron Terrence Hughes. You guys have been loving the videos I've been doing with Aaron. He has a great knowledge of chemistry. He has a chemistry degree and he's been making his own perfumes, I mean, since you were a child, uh, yes. really, haven't you? In one way or another. So I'm fascinated by Aaron because he allows these two things to, to combine and I think it results in, uh, in a great set of fragrances that, that Aaron has made. And I'm also interested to get his opinions, and it seems that you lot out there are as well, on, uh, on other types of fragrances. So in this video, Aaron doesn't know what he's going to be smelling. You already know because of the title of this video. So he's going to smell each of these fragrances. We've got six. I could have included more uh, in here, but you know, I don't want the video to be too long. So we've got six fragrances. He's going to smell and give us a quick opinion on each of them and then uh, a rating. And then we'll go back through them all at the end. Now, I want everyone to bear in mind that the only way we can do this video, and it's just a bit of fun, you're just having a bit of fun, just, <sighs> just fragheads smelling, smelling stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah, so don't, you know, don't read too much into this. We have to test them off strips and a fragrance isn't always going to fully reveal everything that's involved off, off a strip. You need to wear it on skin for a few days, really. Um, so, you know, maybe what we get off strips doesn't correlate with your experience of this fragrance, but I think a lot of these Aaron's going to be smelling for, for the first time, so it is a true first impressions off paper. So with that out of the way, yes. okay, so don't be, you know, don't be too hard if, uh, if it doesn't sound like the fragrance that you might know it to be, okay? It's just fun. So, we're going to start with the first one, which is there, and you lot on screen will be uh, already knowing what it is. Okay. Okay. Bit underwhelming. Yeah. I'm really sorry if that's offending anyone out there. But don't there? you worry about offending okay. anyone. Um, it's a very nice, dainty fragrance. It's a bit safe. You think it's a bit? Yeah. I mean, you know, you like adventurous, exciting no. fragrances. No. I love a creation when time and love has gone into it. Yeah. And I do, I get a little bit upset when things are rushed yeah. and when things are money driven. So yeah. when there isn't, when money is the only thing in these companies' minds, mm. rather than putting out beautiful works of art, I get a little bit upset. Well, I get very okay. upset because I think it's, I think it's taking advantage of people. What um, does it make you think of then when you smell that one off the test strip? It's a bit minty, actually. It's a bit, so there's a lot of, um, under the core, they've used either, it's, I think it's like a spearmint to sort of push the backbone out. I think, I think it's really boring. Okay. I can't get past that. I can't get past, I'm trying to energize my brain. What kind of person do you think would wear this? What kind of, yet you know, age and demographic? I don't know. It's really boring. I don't yeah. really have an opinion. It's like, I wish I wouldn't have been, let me, okay, let me try and think, let me relax. If you don't have one, no, if you don't, don't worry. We can move on to the next one. It's just very, um, blah. Yeah. Do you think it's well blended or not? Do you think it's well made, even though it's not to your taste? It's very weak. I'd love it to be stronger. Okay. I'd love it to punch me in the face so I could get some sort of impression. It yeah. So my dyslexic brain, which is the perfumery brain, mm. chats to me about what is in it, how it's created, yeah. the type of person, but I have to be inspired. Mm. And when I'm not excited, inspired, yeah. challenged, it doesn't really it doesn't do much. Chat to you. Yeah, and I, can't, I get that. And then I'm sort of then the the all that chemistry brain and I, you know the the logical part of the brain just goes lemon mint. Right. So it becomes scientific and logical rather and than I can't being governed a, by emotion and, and I can't form and, a connection. And I'm okay. not forming a connection to this, which okay. means I'm not finding it exciting, which means that it's Fair a enough. bit disappointing and a bit, yeah, it's a bit, it's, it, for me, it feels it's a bit woody. It's a bit, mm -hmm. a bit citrusy. Yeah. yeah. 
a bit boring. Yeah, off off skin. Um, it actually, I I, get, I do get a, a nice performance okay. on this one. So it's not in terms of projection off skin. I wouldn't say it's weak. It's not the strongest out no. there, but. It's, uh, it's, but it's not, not very for me. It's not very exciting. I'm not like getting there's there's no. St I'm not creating a story in my head. I'm not being right. drawn in, and yeah. I'm not sort of going. Good. Well, not every fragrance this. is going to speak to everybody, is it? No. So no? no. So a bit of a what? What would you give it rating? We'll come back to it at the end. Quickly, two, two, three. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry if that offends people, but I don't really care. Da -da. Next <laughs> one. Well, that's why we love you, Aaron. Oh dear, I don't like these. What is it? Oh, stress inducing if you don't like that's fine you know we enjoy it i enjoy it if you don't like something that i might like because it's interesting i don't like lemon you can be your lemon pledge this is these are like my cleaner uses better things than this and this. <laughs> lemon lemon shivering down the spine scratching down a blackboard yeah Lemon. You getting any lemon out of that? Lemon. <laughs> it's just that sort of, it's just like masses of top note vibrating at me. Mm -hmm. That sort of like over, uh, no. Um, it's, so when they're using uh, fragrance, uh, allergens, limonene and liminal, yeah. you have this uh, screaming, I'm a citrus note, but mm -hmm. in a citrus, when you use real citrus, you have, it vibrates and it's beautiful and you have a, Naturals combined with synthetics, are, are, that's why I think perfumery is the most beautiful and the most exciting and it makes challenges me and makes me want to be a yeah. better perfumer every single day. But this smells... Is it settling at all? It's is settling it? now. Yeah. But it is, yeah. it is, it is well, the these... top notes you, you weren't appreciating. Done. Yeah. yeah. And now it's settling. Is it becoming a little bit more appealing? It smells. There is some sort of like cinematic some alcohol, cinnamon sort of background noise, woody sort of underneath. Not much musk. Yeah. This I don't I don't feel these are particularly Do you know what these are? I think exactly what these are. These are very safe day fragrances. Okay. That's how I feel. Yep. So I, that's why I'm not getting excited because yep. um, I would rather smell of clean clothes than something mm -hmm. that's that's a two. Yeah. It's not latching onto my brain. It's got something not very nice. It's just not latching onto me. It's not filling me with that sort of yeah. love, passion, excitement. Mm. This is a, a, a fragrance that a lot of people are often call quite classic and old school. That's why I don't like it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not. It, that's it, not it, your it, vibe, it, is it? No, it reminds me. It reminds me of a, of a biology teacher when I was thirteen. All right. Okay. No, I like biology teachers, physics teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now. I want to like these. Do you know? Do you know? I come in here and I don't want yeah, to yeah. mark these down. I want to because I love perfumery yeah. and I get so excited. And then it's almost like I get tipped over into the edge of being just sad. I just yeah. feel sad when I sort of smell. I know. Oh. I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, what would you give that one out of ten? Two. They're all twos. Yeah. So, yeah. so the first two are, are twos. Okay. Here's the next one. What, what are these? You're passing me these. All these citrus day man's. My older teacher fragrances. What are they? <laughs> this is better. This is better than the other two. This, there's, okay. yeah, I like, I like this one. Yeah. This is dry. These smell classic. These are all really classic fragrances. These aren't very exciting fragrances. These are. These remind me of classic. This is this is quite nice. I'm quite enjoying this. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to feel the emotion. So there was an initial citrus thing that you were thinking, not another citrus, but yes. then yeah. you're reading more into it now and you're finding Yeah, the top is good. Yeah. This one sells smells slightly more expensive than the other two. Mm. This one smells. Yeah. Classic, Definitely. classic, nice man, jumper. Yeah. Thoughtful. It's a nice man would wear this. This feels like this feels like okay. I am getting a emotional connection. I would imagine a really lovely granddad would wear this. This feels really safe. I feel safe. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in my memory, somebody who I've loved would have worn something like this, and I'm yeah. feeling that sort of 
that sort of love. Can you see how I'm starting to change? Yeah, you've got a bit of an emotional connection the way you talk about it, yeah. Well, that, that's the thing about fragrances, and, and whenever we smell a fragrance that ignites an emotional uh, reaction from a memory, then um, it changes the, the game. Yeah, this is the, so this is the nicer one. So this, I'm actually getting a little story of the musk. It's a dry musk, so mm -hmm. it's dry, going through that sort of, the sort of wood coming through, tinkling through. And then a lovely round top neck, but it is not a massive, enormous party fragrance. It is a no. small, round, gentleman's fragrance that yeah. would last, um, I think it would last about eight hours. Okay. Yeah. And it's the I way it's, it would too. yeah, the way it's created yeah. is how I know it's going to last eight hours yeah. because the way the woods are sort of combined with the uh, aroma chemicals, combined with the thought process, this is a thoughtful. Mm. Yes, I Great. think this is a okay. nice man's fragrance. Out of 10? Mm, I would think I can be generous because I don't want to come across as a bitch. Uh, I'd say uh, five and a half. Yes. Okay, five and a half. Yes. It's generous. not good thing. So for me to rate it really high, I have to be almost like falling on the floor with that sort of, I love it. Yes. And it's not quite exciting me to that yeah. level of hysteria. Yeah. And if you do recognize any accords that you use to blend with in these, then do let us know that as well. If, uh, not, you don't have to, but I'm just saying, if there's anything that you pick out from what you use, then um, it's always interesting to know. 90s supermodel fragrance. Do you remember when all the, uh, do you remember when all the celebrities were releasing these fragrances. Mm -hmm. There were hundreds of them. This is what this smells of. Mm -hmm. And this smells of Obzonic. Top notes are sort of um, bright, shiny, happy, but it's very Ozonic. So it's got yeah. that aqueous, Ozonic, I'm standing by the sea. I'm standing by trees that are blowing in the breeze and I'm smelling the water coming off and I'm on holiday and I'm excited, but I'm in the 90s. Okay, well that's all and right, wearing, isn't it? You know I'm the wearing, 90s were pretty cool. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah? and I'm wearing okay. Bermuda shorts. Yeah, I'm sensing you're getting an emotional connection with this Yeah, one. it you know, reminds you, it. Your body changes, when you, you start to do this and have, have your dance moves when, when something. Yes. Yeah. So I, I quite like this. On your channel as well. By the way, uh, if you didn't know, Aaron has released a YouTube channel and he's reviewing fragrances, he's talking about his own fragrance releases, really interesting stuff. I'll leave his link below, yes. so do go and uh, subscribe to him on YouTube. That I quite like this. I think this is, again, it's a very classic fragrance. These are all very classic. This mm -hmm. is very interesting. These are, um, these aren't particularly exciting, mm -hmm. but these are very nice. Well, the first two I'm not really impressed with, but the last yeah. one was a very nice. It felt like a lovely granddad's fragrance. So I, I feel love towards that one. Yeah. This one feels, it's blue. So let me explain what blue means. Blue is when you think of the sea, when you think mm -hmm. of water, when you think of uh, ozone, when you think of, you know, a bright blue sky. And this feels like I'm being transported to a lovely holiday destination and I'm stood by. I think this would be really good if you were like on a beach in the Mediterranean, the beautiful white, mm -hmm. and then you are the sea and the blue and I'm a holiday and I'm having fun. Yeah. But is it is it a, a fragrance profile, a scent profile you you recognise, or are you not familiar with? It? It's triggering something, and I don't know yeah. what. I can't. I think I know what, and I'll tell you at the end of the video, and I'll tell okay, you what it is. Okay, but I'm yeah. being triggered into something where it's this. Um, I'm excited by it, and I don't yeah. know why. So I do like it. Yeah. But I do find, um, yeah, it's got nice projection to it. It so does. I, it does. I, yeah. I'm loving yeah. the projection. Good. Yeah. I'm loving that it's coming up. The the longevity would be very good on this. I okay. think this is a okay. I, this would be a designer house. I think this is a, because it's very classic put together and it's blue. I'm just mm -hmm. getting a blue fragrance. I don't mm -hmm. know quite why. I'm feeling blue. I'm feeling shiny, metallic, blue, exciting, 90s yeah. fragrance. Okay, I don't great, out of 10. What would you give that one? Because it's been put together really well, yeah. So this has had marketing come through and said, we have this idea for this person. And that this, is, this has also been sat in front of a room full of people and they've altered this. So this has been done with some care and love and attention. Mm -hmm. I rate this about a seven or an eight, but are you ready for the but? Yes. I think it's a bit boring because I've, it's a bit too classic for me. Okay. So I rate it a seven because it has- Yeah, I wouldn't call this an out there exciting fragrance. It's no, it's got nothing beautiful. But I think it's very good. Mm. I think it's, I can tell the difference between, so my, I think it's very exciting. No, no, I think it's very well put together. I think it's very 
clever. Mm -hmm. I think there's been a really clever perfumer putting it together, but I would love for the perfumer to adjust, let go yeah. and give us what we want. Okay. And this has But that's where you come in, Aaron. That's yes, where, it does. Yeah. Because okay. we cannot be crazy. There's room for everyone. Yeah, and, nice. you know, that's, uh, that's why I smell coming. that than the first two. Okay. Yes. All right. So, that was, that, uh, what did you say? A, a, eight or a nine, did you say? No, what? no, 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 no. no. Seven. 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 seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. Yeah. You're just making my <laughs> job editing the graphics on even harder, aren't you here? Right. Um, okay, so that's the highest rated one yeah. so far. So the first two were a two. Yeah. We had a five and a half for that, just to remind myself. Yes. And uh, we had a seven and a quarter okay. for that one. Okay, here we go. We've got two left. I'm excited. Yes. So, I'm going to trigger a lot of people and Go. I don't want anyone to be upset because I'm not doing this to upset your viewers. I'm no. doing this because I get really upset when I smell stuff that companies are rehashing and I get very upset when they take people for advantage and I feel fragrances like this are taking advantage of people and I want people to listen to you Chris uh -huh. and I want people to to take a risk and to educate themselves and to start spending their money wisely they are spending their money on rehashed shit. I get really annoyed and I don't like it it's okay it's all right I'm just done I'm, I'm done I'm done with this you're done with, with this, this style of perfume I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm done sure. and I'm like I can't even okay. it's like it's whatever it's like nauseating chemical sludge right I've smelt this. I'm okay. just, I, I just, it's just that core of. Do you, do you know something? The the <sighs> 2016 batch of nauseating chemical sludge, by the way. Whatever. I'm just so over. I'm just so over smelling this rehash, whatever it is. Yeah. This, yeah. this sort of like, uh, whatever. Do you know they could be like there's something they, I just get so whatever it's just yeah. like oh. so you're not emotionally connecting with this one is there I any am. oh you are but in, not in a no in a good way. Okay, I'm, I'm emotionally yeah. I'm sort of emotionally connected because it's this sort of like this disappointment and this yeah. sort of like it makes me despair with yeah. with what's yeah any ideas what what's you so but I'm going to gonna tell you so I'll tell you about it I'm going to remove my personal yes. personality from it and right. I'm going to tell you about the fragrance okay. from a perfume because that's chatting a, like a perfume and a, and a chemist, chemist all point of view. yeah so we have a citrus not top note we have a little bit of fruit then we have some amber ambroxin a little bit of wood and then some musk and it's dry and it's masculine and it's okay and yeah. it's it's okay I don't think it's for me and I'm going to trigger a lot of people out here because no, no, I no, know. No. Just because it's not for you doesn't mean, you know. I told you why it's not for me. Yeah. The value would be high, but the price to make it is low. And I get annoyed at the, the it almost feels like a dishonesty with it. Okay. So that's, I get annoyed at marketing mm. because it's not the perfumer's fault. The perfumer can always create something beautiful, but yeah. it's always this other side, this sort of money making thing, which pushes these companies and then takes it mm. to, I just get so sad. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Out of 10. <laughs> what would you say? Uh, sadness. I think it's so, I think it's very well created. I think yeah. it's a, um, an eight because it's, okay. it, the chemist's done a good job, but right. I rate it a three because of how I know what the marketing would be behind it. And mm -hmm. I know how they would pressure people and I know all the rest of it to that side. And more like that my personality, whatever. Okay. Triggered. So, um, in terms of the blend, you're, you're, Fantastic. you would I think give that an eight, but in terms of your personal preferences... Three. It's a, Done. A three. Over it. Don't okay. smell it again. Don't um, smell it. So, with the rating, are we... Five. Are you, are you gonna kind of meet in the middle between those two? That's fair enough. I think that's a good way of doing it. All right, last one. Here we go. I don't know. Oh. This is a really weird one. Oh. Relax. This is this is interesting. It 
it's slightly medicinal. And I don't know how I feel about that. Mm -hmm. This is a note I've never come across before. So this is why I'm ah, having problems conceptualizing it. So let me put my, get, get to it. Yeah. It's medicinal. I think I know what you mean when you say that. Yeah, I think I know what might, where that might be coming from. It's the medicinal vibrating through. Why would somebody yeah. want to smell medicinal? Sometimes a lot of oud can have a, a medicinal Medi type of smell. Right? Real oud. Yeah. Don't stop me on this, Chris. Real oud can smell animalistic, fecal, dirty, yeah. balsamic. We're going to get something that's really going to trigger me. I specialize in oud. I love oud. Yeah. So a lot of my comp a lot of my fragrances contain oud, and I use real oud. And I've got. Uh, oh, you wait. You wait till you visit. I can show you all my ouds. It's like, it's like, and some of them are very, very expensive yeah like incredibly expensive and but the effect of real oud is magical transformative it can go from being animalistic and fecal mm -hmm. to woody beautiful gorgeousness that just blows my head yeah and yeah when I, I agree yeah when i smell fake oud yeah you can pick out what's it, what's real and what's i real. am yeah. done yeah mm. Put it down and run, Chris. Yeah. So, uh, but having said all that, that we just got onto that from a medicinal side of things. That's yes. not to say okay. I'm not saying there's oud in this one. No, there isn't. Because so I, I know what about you it? mean about the medicinal, but it's not the medicinal oud type of, of smell. So. So I'm going to be really honest. Yeah. And again, please. then we get into it. Mm. Medicinal, a bit vomit-inducing, a bit tinny, a bit woody. Bit. I'm trying to be different, but I'm too scared. The tinny thing's interesting. Actually. Yeah, it's like yeah. tinny. It's I'll like, come back to that it's one. It's like where, a yeah. metallic -y, tinny yeah. box filled with wood, <laughs> slightly vibrating, short, round, robust. Yeah. I am. This is okay. So how I feel about this is it is a man. It is a power crazy little man in a box, going. Uh, I am powerful. I'm here, but I'm only four foot. <laughs> okay. It just oh, feels like yeah. really like a short, hard, robust yeah. uh, fragrance, yeah. which is uh, not beautiful. What I would love for this is mm. to ex to have a bit more extension. So it was extending mm. and projecting in, in a beautiful way and yeah. it's, it's lost that beauty. Men can be soft and beautiful too. They don't yeah. always have to be this hard little tinny little man yeah. with a bald head who's just shouting and screaming. Men can be beautiful, strong, creatures too yeah. and this is losing that aspect of humanity in this and okay. you know it's a bit fruity so i'm smelling right. that sort of fruity core and i'm smelling a metallic shiny box okay um that is really interesting uh we'll come back to that in, when we go through these you know i i a lot of the things that you've said i personally uh, let me smell that on the on the card so I think with this one, a lot of those things for me off skin do come okay. through a little more, in my opinion anyway, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, you might think differently. We're going to quickly run through, yes. have a few seconds again on each of these and just, uh, so this was uh, the first one. Ah, oh, so it's just so boring, it's a bit mm. bubblegummy actually now. Okay. Um, so you hit the nail on the head with the mints. Oh, did I? Yeah. What is um, it? It's, uh, this is Creed Viking. Oh, really? Mm. Gosh. Why is uh, the Viking smell like a mint? Do you know what Viking Well, I, Yeah, like? when this came out, I, I thought, okay, I mean, we're surrounded, York, where we are now, this is where the Vikings uh, yes. are famous, and um, it doesn't smell... I would have thought a Viking fragrance, to, to, if you were going to smell like a Viking, for it to be more animalic and yes, moody and... fire and... Fiery and, and beastly raging. and yes. raging. Yes, yes, not this safe little... No. Safe little I bitch. think they were going as the... the I don't know what they were, I think maybe it was the the nation of of Vikings, not no. what, what a Viking smells like, but more kind of gentlemen, that, no, were the Vikings gentlemen? I, I, I don't know. So yeah, so it's got, a, I think there's some pepper in there and, and mint and uh, woods. It's very uh, pretty. Yeah. And I don't think of Vikings as pretty. This uh, reminds me of um, an old school fragrance, yes. like an old spice type of fragrance. You've yeah. got that down. Yeah. Did I say that? I, can't, I think you said it, well, you said it smells like yeah. classical, yeah. Classical, yeah. but there's nothing really exciting. Yeah. Yeah, at this yeah. point, how much yeah. is it a bottle? Well, you know what, I'm not sure of, of the price of this, um, but it's Creed prices, so, you know, it'd be at least a couple of hundred pounds <gasps> for, 
for 100 million. I, so, okay. Yeah. Whatever. So, Und, I'm very underwhelmed okay, by yeah. it. I feel very yeah. underwhelmed. I don't feel yeah. excited. There wasn't that's an fine. emotional connection. No, nope, no, nope, that's great. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy that one. I think, I think it's a, a nice one. Um, there you go. It's even worse now. Okay. That's this has remained very strong on the strip. I yeah, think. it's it's very. Um, it, yeah, I'm not. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. Again, it's not got any sort of softness to it. I, I love fragrances which are really well balanced between having hardness and mm. some softness to it. It's beautiful yeah. to have something that's really beautiful. Yeah. And uh, it's. I think it's technically it's incredibly difficult to actually yeah. do. That's why they don't do it because it's mm. very, very hard and very expensive to combine that level of expertise. But I would have loved just to have pushed it right. towards something gorgeous. There's not a gorgeousness missing. It just feels very blah. So this is like, like an aromatic fougere fragrance. So yeah. there's, uh, there's some lavender in here. Okay. Um, again, as you said, smells very classical. Yeah. Um, a lot of people s say that this is a very old school smell. Yes, it's, absolutely. It's Bois de Portugal from, from okay. Creed. That sounds fantastic. Another uh, Creed one. Another Creed one. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm unimpressed by that as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, people. A lot of people find a have a. My wife said that this reminded her of her grandparents' toilet because they have the lavender scented. Um, there you go. Uh, uh, it's it's got that old, cleaning. Old I think yeah. I said clean, didn't I? Uh, was that for that? Yeah, I, th I think it was. I think it, I think yeah. it was. There was one, one yeah. that smelled yeah. like cleaning products. Yeah. yeah and okay. And this is the one that you gave a five. Too. Yes, I feel love with this. So I feel yeah. I would have this, thought this reminded you of some, somebody yeah. I've, I've loved. Yeah. So there is a definite warmth and okay. fluffiness. It's a jumper. It feels like a warm, yeah, beautiful jumper. And I would imagine it's cuddly. It feels okay, cuddly yeah. and soft. And and this has okay. So what those two are missing, this has got that softness and and elegance uh, to it. Elegance to yeah. it. It feels like a really lovely granddad. I agree. This is uh, the more elegant of, the, yes, of those system. three. So this is um, Creed's Royal Oud. Ah, no oud in it. But yes, it doesn't smell oudy. Absolutely, I agree with you on that. But it um, smells of a yeah, a beautiful old pink man. Pink pepper yes, in yes, there, yes, 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 and so it's, it's a little spicy. Uh, yes, I had an um, emotional connection. But it's a lovely, smoothly yes. rounded, yes, yes, uh, yes, very yes. elegantly masculine fragrance, yes, that yes, one. Yes, so yes. that was a five and you're sticking with these yes, scores a, so a very far. nice yeah. older man would wear that and I would want okay. to hug him. Yep, all right. And, uh, oh, now this one was the what, the blue nineties one that you yes. that you were saying. Not impressed. You feel the same way about it. Yes. Don't. Okay. Okay. Now, in, interestingly, when you were, when you were smelling, so this is green Irish tweed. Okay. So Creed market this as the rolling Irish hills of greenness of freshly cut grass. Have you ever worked with a material called dehydromersinol? Yes. Loads. Yes, so that is, um, I, I think, what provides the, a strong um, element to this to this fragrance, which a lot of people describe as having this freshly cut grass type. Of well, I'm doing you this freshly cut yes. grass. Um, so, but okay, so you, so initially when you were saying about this blue nineties fragrance, I was thinking, I'm not sure he's going in the right direction. But then, everything you were describing was cool water, and this fragrance, yes, exactly, is is you know. Described yes, as a slightly higher quality version of cool water. There you go. Um, so, and I think it's a little, little smoother than yes. cool water, but it's the same kind of DNA. Yes. And I, I agree. think the same perfumer actually did, I did it. I agree. Um, so, that blue night. So, it's interesting that Creed market the same DNA as green rolling Irish hills and countryside and birds tweeting and all that. Cows in the field. There's no cows in the field. There's no cows in the field. But then Davidoff yes. market it as. The sea, yes. as young, it's a 90s fragrance. It's 90s. Um, it's, you know, blue. Yeah. So it, it just goes to show how the marketing yes. can... And I, so, and I think it's probably that yes. uh, Cool Water it Association is. that was speaking to you. Yes, 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 now you say oh, it. Really interesting. Yes, yeah? now you say yeah. it, absolutely. I found out that, that was fascinating. Yes. Okay, now, uh, and you gave, you did give that one uh, seven and a quarter, didn't you? That one, <laughs> yeah, because of that 90s association. Yeah. So, so there you go. Over it, board done. Yeah. Do you know what it is? I don't care. Any ideas? I, I've, no. Um, I, if it's all Creed, it's going to be a Creed. But 
Oh well, dear, I triggered a lot of people. Yeah, well, you were right. You got everything in this. You, I think you got the musks and uh, the ambroxan, um, stroke ambergris, whichever one it's was not used. Ambergris. Yeah, I think it's ambroxan. Yeah. And, uh, and fruits, woods. It's Creed Aventus. Okay. Yeah. I'm Which so over. I'm just so over. I know so you smelled. Uh, uh, yeah, and it's not. It's not your thing, is it? Okay. So you're sticking with. Uh, what did you say? Do you know what, why I'm not? I, I need to explain yeah, why sure. why explain. I'm over it. Is because it's boring. Yeah. Because it is. When I go into Manchester, it's either that. And I reviewed Savage and I thought Savage was that, and it isn't. And the two are just so alike. I'm just like, oh god, please, just like they have. And can it go back to this point? There are between, I don't know how many Roman chemicals and central oils mm. and tinctures, 4,000. And there's still this hashing stuff and there's people still going for it. And can we now move on? And can we now move on to something mm. exciting and different? Yeah. And why can't people just move well, on? Well, you know, what I think it is, is um, I think Creed probably want to do that. I think Creed probably want to move away from that. Uh, we spoke to uh, um, Owen Creed in uh, Milan. And, you know, whilst Aventus is still a massive seller, it, it just hit the sweet spot of it of it resonating with a lot of people. It became very popular. Uh, it's very versatile, and I think it became the expensive fragrance to yeah. have. Creed Aventus. It had a it has a prestige, and that is still carrying on. People are enjoying buying and wearing Aventus, uh, partly for the smell, but I think partly for to be able to tell their mates it's Aventus, and for people to stop them and say, "Are you wearing Aventus?" But because it is has become so. Um, Mass. So popular and, and you know such a, uh, uh, a a fragrance that is worn by so many people that um, it has become a little boring. And I think Creed, I would like to see Creed release something exciting that was Aventus when it came out yes, in 2010 yes, yes. that changed the game. I totally agree because it was a game changer when it came out, which is why it's resonated uh, for so long. And I would like to see them come out with a new fragrance, totally different, but has that time that resonating effect that Aventus. Do you know how they will do that? is by so perfumers are magical brilliant it's a special gift mm -hmm. as you're noticing through all of this stuff it's yep. a special gift and perfumers are i'm very fortunate to be able to do this and it's a special unicorn gift yep. and the only way that they will do this is if marketing step back yeah. and say to a perfumer let them let them free you have yeah. unlimited and you can be creative and you can create something special. Yeah. And only then will we see the dawn of a new era of perfumery yeah. and it will become exciting. Until then we're gonna get. Someone will, will, will hopefully break out of that mode. I hope because so. I, you know, I, I like, I can um, align this with, for example, uh, movies. You know, you've got a, a really um, kind of auteur style director working in, in Hollywood. They make the film they wanna make. And so many times you hear that the studio interfered and in the editing process they made it into into this uh, kind of more mainstream, less nuanced, uh, you know, taking away the style of the director yes, and making it this more mass appealing because they want to make money. That is a brilliant that's, analogy. That's why they do it. That's a brilliant, brilliant analogy. Yeah. And, I and it's the same in, in every business in the world. I think and it's, that, it, there's it's, always going to be that, which is why the world of Indian niche perfumery is so exciting and interesting yes. because there isn't that interference. We've got um, perfume Perfumers, pioneering um, creative perfumers like yourself working to change the game and bring new things to the market without breathing down your neck. Yes, 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 and totally. Okay. Shaping yeah, the marketing. Okay, that was the last one. Join the Scent Geeks every Monday as we podcast about all things fragrance. You'll find us anywhere you can usually find a podcast. Links are in the description below this video. See you there, geeks. Say it's quite pretty and fruity. Yeah. You feel, yeah. So um, this one is Creed's Royal Mayfair, originally called Windsor because it, it was uh, made for, um, I think the Duke of Windsor originally. Yeah, uh, and, then it, and, then the f and then it went off the market and then it, it got, um, they used the same formula to, to produce the version that we have now, which I believe still smells very similar to its original creation. Now, what you said about this really made me smile because when I smell Royal Mayfair, I love it by the way, I love Royal Mayfair, but I think it is a very, again, a classical type scent. But when I smell Royal Mayfair, for some reason, I have an association with opening a fresh can of tennis balls and you've got that yes. smell that rushes out, the furriness of the tennis balls and the smell of the of gas, the tin. of the tin. Yes. And you were saying metallic, tin, okay. um, 
you know, all those things that, that align with my association with this um, tin of tennis balls, you, you were saying. Uh, so that just fascinates me. It has me, a medicinal. That eucalyptus smell is, is probably giving you an association with the medicine. Um, yeah, that's why I didn't like you, it. Like all the soil or, you know, something like that. I just don't find it particularly... Yeah. Um, Definitely an old school type of fragrance, but a classy, it's a classy. It's a classy it fragrance. is classy. Yeah. The, the one I like the best, yeah. not the best, but the one I had this most emotional connection to was the one that I'd imagine like a really loving... Yeah, that was granted. Creed's Royal Oud, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think that is, I can imagine, a really lovely person wearing that. And yeah. I gravitate towards kindness and love. I don't gravitate sure. towards screaming. So it's, again, that hysteria. highlights this all to do with associations, yes. isn't it? So Green Irish Tweed, because of your cool water association, yes. I think that was your highest rated. Uh, but you really enjoyed Royal Oud yes. as a composition Because as well. I feel yeah. love towards it. Yeah. yeah. Great. Well, I found that fascinating. I, I, that was really interesting. And I hope you all found it interesting. I know Aaron, um, I know he goes for it. And, and he's honest on camera but um, sometimes when he doesn't know what he's smelling he does get a, a little bit nervous about what his reaction is going to be because you know people get easily triggered as we you know as, as we know um, so uh, thank you for doing it you know it was, it was uh, very good of you to to, to put yourself I love it I love us. doing it it's really fun I think yeah I, initially you're a little bit nervous before the video but when we get into it and you start feeling the fragrances and, go, and then go, the, yeah. the and you trust yourself to, to say starts talking and then I yeah. get lost in the you know, my love for perfume. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you for coming on and, uh, and doing it again because um, people are really enjoying these videos. So there we go, the latest addition to the Perfumer yeah. Rates series, which hopefully we can make a semi-regular semi thing yes. on the channel. Aaron, it's been a pleasure. Thank my you very pleasure. much. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, well, there you go. Um, Perfumer Rates Creed. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it entertaining. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.